Hey guys, it's Brandy Janae, and welcome to another Fun Friday! I'm so excited. So this video is going to be a little bit different than normal, so stick around and figure out why it's going to be different this time. Again, this is Brandy Janae. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. On this channel, I do budgeting, hauls, although not so many, planning, and occasional teacher content. So if any of those things sound interesting to you, I would love for you to become a part of the Brandy Janae family. Today is Friday. I love Friday. Friday is my boo. <laughs> But in today's video, like I said, I have some different things going. I do not have money to actually like fully cash stuff this time. I got to figure out how to like work this out so I can do a fun Friday cash stuffing every Friday. Because as you know, if you've been here, I get paid, I guess it's technically bi-monthly. So on the 15th and then the last day of the month. So those other weeks, I'm like, Ew, what am I going to do? So I might start splitting those funds. But what I did want to do, oh, nope, not that page, is I got some bonus money. Brandy, what, what's happening? Let's go. Okay. I got some bonus money. I didn't even want to show y'all all of that. I got some bonus money that I got from... Um, one of my co-workers asked me to design a jacket for her daughter. So I did. I just put the vinyl on it. She already provided all the things. So anyway, I got this $15. So I did want to add this towards my planner stuff. Uh, thing or, you know, envelope. So I just save a dollar and then try to get to the 30. So I'm not going to color all these. But... You will know that I have saved $15 towards this. And I'll finish coloring those later. So I do try to, and I know it's probably bad, but I do try to get this done first <laughs> before I do my regular sinking funds. So like if I have any extra like rollover money or anything, I do stuff this envelope first. I mean, I do fill this one out first and then I put the rest of it in my Rolo or, or in my savings challenges folder. So I am adding $15 to this one today. And it is the 26th. And, uh... It's really early and I haven't had coffee yet, but I think that's 14, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, okay. All right, so that is it for that. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you and I'm so excited about is I have created some new savings challenges. So this is one of them. It does come, and this isn't even a full sheet, but it does come on a full eight and a half by 11 sheet. I shrunk this down. I should have printed it in the original form, but I shrunk this down to fit in here. So this is, um, someone asked me for this one and obviously I did not make this one. This came with the book. So I went ahead and kind of, you know, redid it in my own format. Um, and so this savings monthly savings challenge is basically going to replace this because although this is so cute, so, so cute, I don't know if I'm going to want to do this every month. <laughs> so I thought it would be easier to just do this. So I made each pig and you can obviously use it in this way, but I'm using mine as like my monthly recap kind of thing. So I just made each pig worth 20 colored in until I had 252 well, you know, half a pig, whatever. And then I wrote the total. And this is what I've saved in my sinking funds for the month. I hope that makes sense. So this here will now be on this sheet here. So this, I don't know if it's in my Etsy shop at the time. 
of you viewing this, but everything that I'm going to show you today will be in my Etsy shop by Sunday. <laughs> I'm like slowly but surely adding everything, but everything that I'm showing you right now will be available in my shop by Sunday. All right, so then next, I made some scratch-offs and some other savings challenges. So first we have the cupcake challenge, which I love. And all of my challenges are available either laminated, so I send it to you laminated on cardstock, or you can purchase them, um, the PDF version. So digital or printed and shipped. So I have the cupcake one. I made this one, it's like the little teacups, which I thought was super cute. I have a birthday one. This one really stretched me too, by the way, because I do not like random numbers. I prefer round numbers. <laughs> so this one, this one caused me some turmoil, but I did it. Then we have this one, the pot of gold or money bag challenge and this is a scratch off and this is like one of my favorite things this is actually what got me making the shaped things because typically i just do them like this but this bag is what made me make <laughs> the other shaped savings challenges i was like on a roll that day and then the little pig and then we have a holiday challenge but wait there's more so I was talking to May and we were talking about all these challenges and apparently she's had people that have asked for budgeting stickers from her shop and she's like, I don't do budgeting stickers like, you know, like that. Talk to Brandy, talk to Brandy, talk to Brandy. I'm pretty sure Brandy has some in her shop and I'm like, May, I don't have stickers in my shop. <laughs> she's like, well, you should because people keep asking me for them and I'm going to send them your way. So you need to get some stickers rolling. So... Before I make the other like actual stickers, I was prompted, I don't know why it popped in my head, to do this. So now you can purchase a jumbo savings sticker. So these are perfect because if you just have regular filler paper, essentially it's the same as doing a printable, except for now it would be a sticker. So if you just have regular filler paper or if you want to stick this to the front, I should have done that. Stick this to a front of an envelope. Let me grab an envelope so I can show you what that would look like. Okay, you guys, disregard the fact that this is all crunched up. But <laughs> I just want to show you what this would look like. So if you wanted to stick this on the, you know, in a book. Or if you wanted to just put it on your cash envelope. You could totally do that. And then you can change these, you know, the way you wanted to. So I'm excited. I am going to be putting this on removable matte sticker paper. So theoretically, if you wanted to keep switching these out, you, you know, you could remove them. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was a super cool idea. Another way to kind of do things that, you know, a little bit outside of the norm that I have seen. So yeah, the stickers will also be available in the shop. So I did it in the cupcake and you guys are gonna have to like, just ignore my imperfections because I was rushing because I was excited. <laughs> so the cupcake one, we have the teacup one. I even made the birthday one. I'm thinking that I'm gonna make all of my savings challenges in jumbo stickers version. So, but yeah, ignore like, cause again, I was excited. And then here's the little pig and then the bag that I just showed you. And that's it. I did not print off the Christmas one, but yeah, I just thought that would be something cool and it's a little bit different. So comment down below and let me know what you think about the jumbo stickers. I did purchase some clip art, so I will have some regular stickers coming out soon. Um, I will not be doing a ton of stickers though. Like I won't. I'm just, I'm going to just tell you that right now. I'm not going to be doing a ton, but some icons and things like that, especially things that I know that I would like to use. I'm going to, you know, go ahead and do in some, probably do some like basic scripts. Um, but as far as like, 
you know, kits and all that thing. Like I'm still, I'm still kind of torn with whether or not I want to start offering budgeting kits. I have the ability to do all of the things. <laughs> it's just whether or not I have the time in my schedule to make it happen and to maintain it. Because once I start doing something, I like to continue to be able to do it. So anyway, that's it. I know it's a super short video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your Friday and the rest of your weekend is amazing. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments down below. My shop will be listed in the comments as well. I usually list it as the pinned comment in this video, but then it's also always, 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 always in the description box. If you're interested in any of the things I use for budgeting, that is also listed in the description box, as well as any shops that I may have either affiliate links for, which means I would receive a small commission, or PR links for, which means you would receive a discount. So definitely, definitely, definitely always check a YouTuber's description box because that is where you can find all the things. Also, don't forget to always watch a YouTuber's video from the beginning to the end because that helps our channel and lets YouTube know that our content is worth watching and pushing through the algorithm. Thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video and be safe, be kind, or be quiet, be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.